Welcome to Origami in Nepal. Today we will learn how to make a simple uh, scenery with the help of watercolor. First of all, let's separate our two sections. I have separated with the, with this masking tape. Uh, today we will learn, we will draw a beautiful sky on the sea. So there will be two sections. Uh, we will it will be divided by the horizon. So this tapered area will be uh, maintaining the uh, separation. Okay. As as we go. Uh, let's start from the base uh, light color here here you can see I've started with this uh, very light yellow and as we move up I will darker the color I'll go with the more darker shades that will be orange and then final to a red At this point, we are just basically covering uh, this space, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to be so much careful. I think I should add more depth to this yellow. More color is needed in this corner. You can see I'm not using any palettes here. <laughs> As I have explained to you all. As I go higher, I'll just go with the darker shade. If your brush gets stuck, add some water. At this point we should at least let it dry but I'm making this video in a rush so I won't let it dry. I will continue with the lower section. Section where we will paint a uh, C. It will be much more better if you all let it dry, let your paint dry then move on with the painting <laughs> and I don't recommend you to use same uh, masking tape again time and again as you can see but I've used this because uh, my maxing stick was quite strong and while taking out it to, took off some papers with it so I don't want to ruin my painting so I used my old paper uh, maxing tape so uh, 
to the horizon I've used a darker shade and as I move uh, far away from the horizon I've used uh, light color I've used blue and dark blue at the corner at the horizon and as I move away from the horizon I've added more uh, white color to make it lighter Uh, it will be much more better if you uh, fix your painting before uh, starting your project. In my case, I've made, you can see I've made mistakes. I was too eager to draw, I think, I guess. Now I think it's the right time when where I, uh, I should paint my uh, shade of water. So I've used white color and just painted over it. With the thin painting brush it will be much more better. I've given a straight lines. It can be random but it should be at least uh, go with the direction of the horizon, parallel to the horizon. That will do the work. To my left corner you can see there is a small I will just cover up that with the black paint I guess make some mountains over there <coughs> for the timing I'll make a sun at this point you can use cotton bud to make make it make a proper circle if you are compatible with painting brush you can go with painting brush you can see <laughs> it's always fun to learn new new techniques just go with your heart try different different things if it works out it's okay if it doesn't work out you can cover it up at this point you can see I've had some excessive color so I'm using that color to make a clouds
here uh, you can see there's a smudge of a paint which I cannot cover up uh, with the yellow color so I've added black color and made one uh, mountain to cover up, cover that up After this, I think I it's the right time to, uh, for me to let my paint dry. I will let my paint dry for a while. Then I'll just add more colors, more details over the sea, over the clouds.